Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see design load combinations. What are the various types of combinations of loads that you have to deal and that you have to use in the design that we will see in this video. So the design load combinations are taken from IS code which I have also told you in the previous video the code is IS1893-2002 this IS code is also available on the Google if you search this by adding PDF with it you have to search IS1893-2002 and after that just add PDF so you will get this PDF from table number 18 what it says values of partial safety factor gamma f for the loads what does that mean this concept i have told you in the previous video you have to multiply it with certain factor to increase that load and you have to use the combinations now what does that mean the first type of combination is dead load plus live load and you have to multiply it by 1.5 factor so it will be 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 times IL IL stands for imposed load or it is also known as live load okay IL stands for imposed load imposed load is nothing but live load imposed okay and it is also known as live load so either you write imposed load IL or live load in IS 1893-2002 they have written as IL so what it says in limit state of collapse if you are designing it for the limit state of collapse you have to multiply the dead load by 1.5 and impose load also by 1.5. So I'll multiply dead load by 1.5, lie load by 1.5. If you take 1.5 common, what will be remaining? Dead load plus live load. So that is your first combination. 1.5 in bracket dead load plus live load. This is the first combination that you have to use for the design of structure. Now, for example, dead load over the structure is 10 kN, okay, per meter square and live load is suppose it is 5 kN per meter square so total is how much total is 15 kN per meter square but you will not use 15 what you will do you will use this combination so as per this combination how you will write it 1.5 times dead load plus live load no? it is like this so 1.5 as it is dead load is how much 10 and live load is 5 so it is 15 into 1.5 like this okay so in this way you have to use the combinations the first combination is like this now the second combination i'll talk about the second combination okay second combination is what it says one dead load plus wind load so you have to multiply it by 1.5 or 0 0.9 and wind load by 1.5 okay now what does that mean and last combination is very easy huh? see last combination dead load so it says dead load plus imposed load that is life load plus wind load and all this should be multiplied by how much 1.2 okay so you will get some value and out of which which one is the critical one that you have to seize okay what it says for the critical one for example with this combination the value is suppose 70 with this 1.5 dead load plus live load the combination is 60 so which one is greater 70 is greater so this one will be the critical load and for this 70 you will have to design the structure okay now it says some note while considering the earthquake effect substitute el for wl means if you are considering the earthquake load just change w wl with the el that is you have to just substitute or put the value of earthquake load in case of the wind load okay that is the only change so first one is for limit state of collapse second one is for limit state of serviceability these two methods limit state of collapse and serviceability i have explained you in the previous videos then for the limit state of serviceability the value of gamma f given in the table are applicable for short term effect while the assessing the long term effects due to the creep dead load and that part of the live load likely to be permanent may only be considered what it says in limit state of serviceability for this criteria this one gamma f that is factor partial safety factor which is given in the table is applicable for short term effects not the long long term effect now short term effect may be deflection 
temporary deflection like this but creep what is creep it is the permanent deflection or long term deflection no? so for creep design you will not consider these values these values which are given in serviceability data okay creep is permanent one okay then while assessing the long term effect due to the creep dead load and that part of live load likely to be permanent dead load and live load we will take the permanent one okay then this value is to be considered when stability against the overturning or stress reversal is critical overturning criteria some stability criteria if you want to check that you can use the critical one combination okay that is one then partial safety factors for limit state of design of reinforced concrete and pre-stress concrete structures it says it specially mentions that is uh, from in is 1893 2002 table number 6.3 sorry clause number 6.3.1.2 it says these are the partial safety factors if you have to design the structure as reinforced concrete and pre-stress concrete for reinforced and pre-stress concrete we will use these combinations 1.5 times red plus live load 1.2 times red plus live load plus or minus imposed load sorry earthquake load now why plus or minus positive for example if this is your plan okay and this is your x direction this is your z direction in this way you take the direction in case of this is your plan a uh, top view of the structure so if you are going if the earthquake is applied in this direction it is positive z direction positive x direction but earthquake is applied in this direction that means it is negative x similarly if for example z is this direction that is positive one but if earthquake is applied in this direction it will be minus z so like this you have to take not only positive but also negative one same combination is there 1.5 times red load plus or minus earthquake load and 0 0.9 times red load plus or minus 1.5 times earthquake load so in this way there are various combinations of loads and these are the factors 1.5 1.2 1.5 0.9 these are the partial safety factors okay here it is written partial safety factors so this was the video on design load combinations the is code that was used for this is is 1893 that you have to remember you can download it 2002 this is a special criteria this is a special is code which gives various guidelines related to, to the earthquake load okay so you can download that thank you